Hi guys, welcome back to Ejuet channel. So today the topic is calf pneumonia. We are all familiar with the calf pneumonia and this is a very serious problem in case of farm management. So please subscribe this channel and hit the bell button for more updates. So calf pneumonia. Calf pneumonia is an important disease of the calf. Diagnosis, the treatment and the prevention is a very important factor in every cattle farming and cattle industry. It is actually a multifactorial disease that is there are many factors which will together cause calf pneumonia. So it is very common in the age between 1 to 5 months because we will be telling the reason why the animals are more susceptible in the 1 to 5 months of age. So introductory part, infectious calf pneumonia is actually high morbidity pneumonia that is the rate of getting the pneumonia is very high it is mainly found in the house dairy cat uh, so the many infectious agents that is respiratory syncytial virus para influenza virus bordetella bacteria so there are many agents the mycoplasma and the lower respiratory tract invasive bacteria they are all getting into the respiratory tract and causing the disease so what are the types of calf pneumonia that is actually chronic pneumonia and acute pneumonia acute is actually having a very more sudden onset and chronic pneumonia it is more gradual in nature and it will not be having distinct ill phase and uh, the phases will not be very distinct and they may be having slight nasal discharge with an increased respiratory rate and cough so it will be like they, it will be increasing day by day the problems will be increasing day by day and the respiratory secretion will be turning from uh, purely mucus to thick discharges so this is actually a graph and through this graph you can actually know why the animals are more susceptible in the four to six months or the four to six weeks of age to pneumonia because in the zero to fourth week it will be having passive immunity from the mother's cholesterol so it will be having many antibodies that the mother will give to the calf so in the fourth week onwards the antibodies will be losing its power the maternal antibody will be losing its power and during the sixth or the seventh week the active immunity will be start to work the calf's own immune system will start so there is a gap actually like uh, two to three weeks in that period, the animal will not be having much immunoglobulins in their blood. So, this is actually the period of high susceptibility to pneumonia. So, we should give very much utmost care during this time. So, the causes of calf pneumonia that is actually having the environmental factors because if at all the environmental factors are changing and that will actually negatively have an impact on calf pneumonia. So, the low environmental temperature high humidity, pure ventilation. These three are the classic example for the environmental factors. And moving to the infectious agents, that is actually viral, bovine respiratory syncytial virus, bacterial, parasitic and mycoplasma. So the symptoms of calf pneumonia, high temperature, dull and depressed face, nasal discharge, coughing, reduced food intake, weight loss, by auscultation, you can see the false sounds, wheezes, lung crackles, etc. So this is actually a cattle with complete loss of appetite. You can see the body condition and all. Difficult breathing, temperature 41.7. It's actually susceptible for some times of pneumonia. So these are actually pneumonic calves. You can see the frothy discharge. These are the calves with pneumonia. You can see the nostrils and you can see the muzzle. These are the lungs. So what are the consequences of pneumonia? Uh, short term consequences are reduced dry matter intake. So that will actually give them a very bad body condition. Delayed weaning. Higher risk of additional pneumonia even at the weaning. Long term consequence being uh, higher age at first calving. Compromised milk production. Delayed breeding and antics. So the treatment. First you have to remove the primary etiology. So we have to give for the antibiotics that is the fluoroquinolones, the cephalosporins, sulfadrex etc. 
Now we have to give the antihelminthics and anti-inflammatory drugs, which can be steroids or non-steroid drugs. So you have to give supportive treatment because the animal will be having a poor body condition. So we need to give the vitamin C and vitamin A to increase the immunity so that they can compete with many bacteria and many microbial organisms. So we have to give mucolytics and bronchodilator because it will make their bronco vessels dilated. So they can easily get more air into the lungs. Antihistaminics to prevent the excess histamine secretion. And if at all anemia is there, you have to correct it. And you should supply easily digestible and palatable food. So prevention is actually you have to remove the causative agent of the disease. Clean environment. Proper ventilation is there. Okay, proper ventilation means we will be getting proper air supply. Then swabbing of the navel with tincture iodine so that no bacterial infection can occur. Removal of the newborn from the infected environment. You should have to take the newborn into a different area. Feeding of calves and uh, you should give growth promoters which help them to fight against diseases. Now special nutritional and housing requirements for the newborn neonates. Thank you.